My story of change. My story of change. My story of change. My story of change. Oil was discovered in Uganda in 2006, but 20 years later, not a single barrel of oil has come to market. So what do you have in a whole lot of these cases, when you have a lot of money flowing to the country, is you have tensions at the local level, tensions at the central level, and then there are problems now of uh, the environment. And my paper and research has been looking at what can you do in terms of uh, development institutions coming in with a bit of money in terms of the government creating an infrastructure to bring goods and services to market and even compensating the local owners of the land. There are three issues that, are, that come out of the research I've conducted. Well, how do we deal with resource nationalism? How do we maintain the social contract? How do we uh, maintain uh, institutions that are credible and that are, that are long-term in nature? Resource nationalism is inevitable. There's a bit of tension of who owns these things, who comes in and invests and so on. So you have to find a way of managing resource nationalism. That's one. And natural resources, of course, have shown that uh, it's not a sustainable basis for development because the prices go up and down. So you need to have a much more uh, uh, diversified resource base. Taxes are very important for maintaining that link between government and the government. My story of change is that uh, I strongly believe that development of countries, in Africa especially, should depend on resources uh, that are based on taxes uh, and not uh, aid or natural resources. If tax people, eventually they will demand that their money be used credibly for development.